you needn't make the young people leave the room when you put this record on, because girls of 17 or less need no teaching but confess they know it all if they're a la mode. Of course, she never sews or cooks, but reads the most amazing books bought in the Channing Cross Road. In fact, the modern man resents the girls whose pose is innocence. Every girl of 17 is just a child, we hear, but at 18 she's an adult if she's dough. Poor girls need no instruction when starting a career. They know it all at 10 or 12 or so. But when a rich young girl comes out, her mother or her aunt tells her just what she can do, but mostly what she can't. For three feathers and a curtsy, never made a debutante. Now that's what every girl of 17 really ought to know. Every girl of 17, an age they say is sweet, should have a time comparatively gay and anticipate the summer of her life. If she's discreet, she should cast her clouds before the end of May. Modesty is dangerous, so if she's any pride, she can wear a naughty bathing suit with men at the seaside, but they don't want what you show to them, but only what you hide. And that's what every girl of 17 ought to know today. If a girl of 17 says, I'll talk to you, old bean, it's a woman's conversation you'll enjoy. But her body, you will find, is not developed like her mind. In fact, she looks just like boy. Of course, she still may need advice if she wants to keep quiet niece. But every girl of 17 should know each kind of kiss and learn the continental ways of pet. She ought to try just one or two Italians doing this and 50 million Germans doing that. That the English lover's safer, though he's rather dull and slow, but the Frenchman as a lover, much too far is inclined to go. He's dangerous, for sick he'll faith, not always come he'll fail. And every girl of seventeen ought to know of that. Every girl of seventeen should never squeal or howl if a good man treats her just as if she's green. She ought to know that men can be as dull whose minds are foul as those whose minds are poisonously clean. If a fellow says, get in my car, we'll have a joyride, dear, find a little country inn. She ought to know, I fear, that he's only after one thing, and it may be beer. Now, that's the thing that should be known by girls of 17. Every girl of 17 should let off lots of steam, and use worse words than dash or hang or blow. Her knowledge of geography should rightly be supreme. She should often tell her parents where to go. Especially when they tick her off for coming home at dawn. She may think her people innocent, with ideas rather worn. Still they must know something, or she'd never have been born. That's what every girl of seventeen really ought to know. And do they, or do they? Yeah. Here's a chorus for boozers, good decent men who like a nice drop of the stuff now and then. Here's the brandy beer bubbling in whiskey and rum. You may have had some, but there's still more to come. So whether we're guests or whether we're hosts, let's make it a party and have some toast. Come on, you fellas, the devil is king. Lift up your liquid and jolly well sing. Chin, chin, cheerio, and here's the test for crime. So empty your glasses, you blithering asses, and let's have a jolly good time. Here's the thousands of LSD, paid to John Reed from the BBC. Here's the listeners they try to impress. They get a little, but artists get less. Here's the Peterson, Peterson's son. Here's the Harvey who still hangs on. Here's the Carnero who swings them and whirls and promises things to sell her girls. Chin, chin, cheerio, and here's the test to crime. So empty your glasses, you blithering artists, and let's have a jolly good time. Here's the fellow who good money lends, here's the bookmakers too, and all Hitler's friends. Here's the horses who do the good work, here's the Steve Donoghue, Richards and Smirk. Here's the fellows of field, bowl and bat, here's the leg theory, I'm wild about that. Here's the pro players, paid for pro -est. here's the amateur ones who write for the press. Chin, chin, cheerio, and here's the test of the crime. So empty your glasses, you blithering asses, and let's have a very good time. Da, 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 la, da, da. Here's the young folk, particularly naughty, between the ages of 20 and 40. Here's the older ones, equally matey, between the ages of 40 and 80. Here's the girl in the high heel shoes who spends your money and drinks your booze. Always attractive and always looks neat for the rest of this toast. I'm far too discreet. Chin, chin, beerio, and here's the test of crime. So empty a glitch of blithering artists and let's have a jolly good time. Yes, do let us 
Here's the farmers, their flocks and their herds, their trees and their birds, yes, especially their birds. Here's the farmers, their fields and their lawns, yes, the rain on their pastures and boots on their corn. Here's the fattest, naughty young rich. Here's the socialist, vast epocrypt. Here's the theosophists, long may they shine. Here's the nudists, they're more in my line. Shins. Jolly good fellow, time. Jolly good Here's the girl who knows the lot and doesn't pretend to be what she's not. Here's the girl with a generous mind who pays for her dinner in cash or kind. Here's the girl with no regrets who gets what she wants and wants what she gets. Here's the girl with her own fat sublime who says to you, come up and see me sometime. Here's the poor folk and to those who have brass, to all forty people, whatever the craft, in cottages, mansions, or houses, or huts. Here's their hearts, boys, and here's their bravery. To all absent friends, here's raising our caps. Here's to all of us here from a jolly good chap. That's the last toast, so God save the king. Lift up your voices and jolly well sing. Here's the and here's the crime. So empty your glasses, your glittering houses, and let them a jolly good time.